Hey guys, Jack Nick Gaming here, and we're gonna play some P U Z Z L E Puzzle Agent Two. I just saw this on Steam. I was looking up a good uh, game to play, and I thought I'd check out this one. The animation looks pretty cool on uh, the preview uh, trailer, and uh, so I'm gonna do the heist. Payday, the heist. Next is a new one, so. Let's get this started. I haven't uh, played any of it yet. I adjusted the settings just a few seconds ago, so if it's a bit too loud, I hope it isn't. But you can always. Okay, cool. So. Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research, just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second, I thought I saw. And I'm a bit sick, so you'll be hearing me sniffle throughout the video mm. various times. So it looks like this is shaping up to be quite a good game. Can Nelson see the unique details of the moon? Rotate the rings to the scope until each ring is locked in place and each column of symbols contains no duplicates. Okay. if that happened in everyday life, we would be seriously in debt. It costs $30,000. The Eraser factory is back open, even though Foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. I wish it was motion not just sort of like stop like that Ingram uh, oh hiya Nelson thought you'd left for the night let's no I want to do some whoa whoa what to do um let's do vegetable crimes how are things going in vegetable crimes 
The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in Roots and Tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle Division! Wow! Wow, Scoggins. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out! I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Oh my gosh. Yeah, four about dragons. that. Crazy. Ninth number in the sequence. Huh, eleven. Uh, let's, uh, I'm not. Let's get a hint. Pattern zooms to reset after hitting 12. Okay, I'm done. So let's try 12. Submit. Yep, see, like that. See? Like that. No! Retry. Nice try, Jim, but you see here. Oh, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> what? Don't worry. You almost. Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge Why favor. Is Jim I'm going to so be happy? taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. I'm... You want me to log them into evidence? These it's tapes like... must have all the puzzles. I like how he's moving towards the Thanks, like, Jim. Er, er, and I'll er, probably er. be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through vegetable crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to wherever. <laughs> the Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. No. The factory foreman is still missing. And there has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I found Isaac Dabner and gotten to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. Minnesota. Where there's snow every single place all year around. What do I do? Where is everybody? Valdas. Valdas. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. <laughs> I like the pause. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. <laughs> Creeper. I'm going to check into Valdas Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Yes. Valdas Inn. Let's go check out the creeper right now. Um. Huh. So you can. Looks like you can uh, review your cases. Go through like. Ooh. Okay. So let's go back. I, so far, I spent like two hundred thousand, like three hundred thousand dollars of the taxpayers' money. So I'm sorry, you guys. I'm just wasting your money. If oh you're my, over Mr. Agent Tethers. Jeez. 
Oh, those are glasses. I thought her eyes were like wide open and like pupils are just messed up. She does look scared though. Look at that. I need to warm up. Hey. What? Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? <laughs> Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. What? <laughs> this is... Oof. Ooh, found it. I guess he can... Just go... Go everywhere for pieces of these little wads of paper. Then, yeah, so... Vase. Vase. Okay, let's just talk to you. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. So I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Why Not now that the eraser factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. White stuff under her nose. You wouldn't be able to tell because, like, both their faces are just, like, snow white stuff. Like, snow white, the color. Has anyone heard yeah, from the factory foreman, white. Isaac Davner? No, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if she's lying. <laughs> I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Ooh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. What? No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. What? Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I guarantee if he was, like, was an FBI. I wonder if she follows my cursor. No, I think she just does random. If I was an FBI, she'd, like, have a hot dish already. She'd be like, oh, I knew you were coming. She gives it to me. It's like, ah, oh, I think I'm full. Here's another one. Just keeps doing that. Okay. And eraser factory. I suppose still the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Don't yes, you know. ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get erasers. to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Uh -huh. No. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. Gee, I wonder if she's lying. <laughs> I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. What? No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. What? Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I guarantee if he was, like, was an FBI. I wonder if she follows my cursor. No, I think she just does random. If I was an FBI, she'd, like, have a hot dish already. She'd be like, oh, I knew you were coming. She gives it to me. It's like, ah, oh, I think I'm full. Here's another one. Just keeps doing that. Okay. And eraser factory. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Don't yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And what? you helped us get erasers. to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Uh-huh. Gum. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? <laughs> what? What gum? question is oh, that? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere Whoa. in town. What? Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. Why? But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. No. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You yeah. can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. And on your face. Hmm. I'll yeah. be on the lookout for it. Uh, it's just like she had to get like this metal scraper to scrape off the gum because people just get so lazy. She, they're just like, oh, I'm done with my gum stick. And she's like, eww. But she doesn't do anything because she doesn't want to lose her business. Could I get the same room I had last time? 
No. Oh, dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've, er, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh, yeah. Lots of, you know, tourists. Invisible Here tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look, you can see here for yourself. Lines down there. Can you figure out room assignments that was there? Sure, why not? Six rooms at the end. Three on each floor. The guests request our Miss on the floor above Miss LaRue. Miss Dimpleton will not stand on the floor with more than one than women. Mr. Blessing and Mr. Carlson always get their rooms on the same floor. Um, uh, okay, so. Oh crap. I <laughs> completely forgot everything. So, Miss Dimpleton won't. And they always want to. Mr. Maxwell, was it? And Carlman. So. More men than women, I think. Lesson. Uh. Submit? Oh, that's right. Guess. <sighs> yeah, I know. I wasn't trying to do. Okay, I completely forgot them. Yep. Well, I got one, so. And Laru. Well, that helped me none. Another hint. There's more. Nelson Tethers is staying on the bottom floor. Yeah, no crap. Maybe. Oh, maybe I did the wrong people. But I don't want to mess it up again because then I'll just be wasting money. <laughs> huh. Sorry. Um, do they look old? Like they would be in the same one. Hmm. Okay. Nah. Okay. Let's, I think this is right. Spent. I just spent like two hundred thousand dollars. Ah. Retry. Great. And I wasted more money. Hint. So I would like more. Staying on the top floor are Maxwell Blessing and Carlman. Maxwell Blessing and Carlman. There, that's right. I know. It looks like there's a room available. Yeah. Hmm. Well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Yeah. Ah, you're that room is no. being uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Sure. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. Uh, the the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh heavens, no! Of course it's not bed bugs. It's uh, uh painters. Painters. The room's being fumigated for painters. Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. No. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Oh, um... Um, it looks like this might be a good spot. Um... Now I'll do one more, just one more, and then I'll end it, so... Talk to you again. Let me in. Hello again. Hello. Well, how do you do, Mr. FBI Man Tethers? <laughs> Goodbye. Well, um... Good night. Stay <clears throat> warm, dear. Okay. See you later, I guess. Well...
Scoggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. That's Minnesota for you. <laughs> Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Sorry if you guys are from Unless Minnesota. the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Minnesota isn't that bad, actually. It's like the same as any other state, pretty much. Just heard something from the yeah, alley behind the hotel. The now. alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to investigate. I like to see him in a gunfight all of a sudden pull it out and just stand straight up. Just be like, they're shooting bullets, bang! And then, like, be lost. Oh, I should have looked around for some gum wads. They look like gum wads, not paper. I can hear what I think you guys can hear it now. <laughs> oh, it's just the door. Ah, oh, of course, because all doors make that noise. What? What? She, she just waved. What? I thought I had no. Ro I didn't. I thought I didn't have a room. Why is there a gnome there? The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that, oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, well, it just showed me that game was saved. I think I'm gonna end it here and pick off next time when the game is going to be can oh pick up this Hmm. For a second I thought I saw someone on the street below. Probably just my imagination. Yep, along with the rest of you. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching.